Now, from Hollywood, The Insider is on. Welcome to The Insider. I'm Kevin Frazier. Brooke Anderson is on assignment. Okay, First everybody, off, that's Miguel the Hunter. Kevin Frazier Edwards, you all know, Mistress, who I host God. the CBS syndicated entertainment show, The Insider, with every single day. More on that in just a minute. But first, I want to give you a little history about my fabulous co-anchor. Hey, the Reds continue to make impressive moves today. Well, I'm sure for a moment there you were wondering who that guy was. Well, that's Kevin in Cincinnati, Ohio at WXIX where he was the weekend sports anchor. That mustache is amazing, isn't it? Don't be fooled by cheap imitations, okay? <laughs> Seriously. Let's be honest. A lot of people see Kevin as a sports guy still, and he has done a lot in sports. He was there for the first season of the NFL on Fox. They did in the first quarter. They all then on to Fox Sports National Broadcast and eventually ESPN. Welcome inside the Times Square studio. But this is where the story takes a funny turn. He's at the height of the sports game, living out every man's fantasy, hosting the NBA coverage and Sports Center at ESPN. So nobody saw this one coming. This is my attempt to make Tony jealous. <laughs> Entertainment tonight. Why? Why would he make the move? It was extraordinary. Well, this is why, because it worked. What made Mr. Washington change his hairstyle? That's coming up. <laughs> Just before Barack Obama came on stage, I got a text from my father, and he said to himself, from Jim Crow to Barack Obama, wow. How great is this moment? Isn't this a great day, and aren't we glad to have all these converts? <laughs> For eight years, Kevin interviewed some of the biggest stars in the world on the number one entertainment show in the world. That was where the bars came through. That's where the levee broke. Then last year, he became the first African-American man to ever host a syndicated entertainment show when he became the host of E.T.'s sister show, The Insider. And boy, it has been one heck of a wild ride since then. You gotta come by and have a tomato. I wanna go by and have a tomato. Yeah. Now for the average person, hosting The Insider is more than enough, right? But one job for Kevin, well, it's like being on a vacation. Besides The Insider, there's college football on Fox, the Tennis Channel, he's a contributor to the Tom Joyner Morning Show, and then there's Hip Hollywood. Hey. Hip Hollywood delivers coveted content to an underserved but much valued demographic that is attractive to name brands and advertisers. It's Hip Hollywood at the 2009 Essence Music Festival brought to you by Ford. There's this myth that Rosa Parks was tired, exhausted from a hard day's work when she boarded a city bus in Montgomery, Alabama on December 1st, 1955. But according to Rosa, the only thing she was tired of was giving in. So when the bus driver told her she would have to give up her seat to a white passenger, Rosa Parks refused to move. And I have to tell all of you that I never know what is gonna come out of this guy's mouth. And I love that about him. You are spontaneous, you are real, he's tenacious, he's aggressive, and he's so much fun. He makes coming to work. No, 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 it's true, no! A pleasure for me every single day. Congratulations, Kevin.